The camera's foggy. How does one defog the inside of a camera? Like how, oh, maybe I should take the lens off. <laughs> so smart, Nikki, you're so smart. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bikini haul for you guys. Yes, it is a try on haul. It's basically gonna be the same type of video that I did last year. I put a poll up on my Instagram and you guys said that you wanted me to do another bikini haul this year. I hope you can hear me. I'm filming on a new camera and I'm filming outside and it's really, really, really windy. Um, it just took me like 20 minutes to defog the inside of my camera. Uh, yeah. But anyways, I have a lot of bikinis to go through yet again. Um, because apparently I can't control myself when I buy bathing suits. And last year I spent a lot of time going through every single bathing suit. So I'm going to try and go really quick through this. And I'll put in the try and clips. And yeah. So I got bathing suits from three different places. Yes. Three different places. Fashion Nova, H&M, and Saffle. So I'll go through each of those places in their own little category. So we're gonna start off with the Fashion Nova first. So from Fashion Nova, I ordered two one-piece swimsuits. I didn't get any of their bikinis. I got two one-pieces. And this one's really hard for me to hold up, so it's gonna be kind of confusing unless you see the try-on part because, like, hello. So yeah, this bathing suit is green, like a um, army green up at the top and it is black on the bottom and it has these two little straps that like crisscross in front of your body. Like I said, hard for me to explain unless you look at the try on piece, but I think this is super cute. It has no padding in it, which is kind of a downside, but I mean, I don't really need padding anyway, so it's fine. The bottoms are more full coverage in the back. They're not really that cheeky and the top is like, it covers the whole top part of your back as well. So the second bathing suit, um, hold on, let me just detangle it. So this is the second one. <laughs> this one I haven't worn yet because I'm kind of afraid to wear it because it's so like, hello, hi, how are you doing? So yeah, it's this red one piece and it's got this huge plunging v-neck line. And then the back is like high up. It's like one of the ones that comes really high up on your hips. So it's like more cheeky in the back, um, but it does have adjustable straps, which is good because I need those. If you like really revealing bathing suits, go for it because this is super, 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 super cute. But hi! <laughs> hello. Hello, friend. Hello, hello, hello. I'm filming. If you want to hang out. Hi, I'm gonna hang out and watch right. because I don't have anything better to do. <laughs> Francesca's here. Hello. <laughs> Alright, so the next store that I went to was H&M, and I got quite a few suits from there. I got one one piece, and it's like this, and the sides are really cool. It has like this crisscrossing all down the sides, and it has little tassels on the bottom. And it's like a scoop back, scoop neck. Um, the bottoms are a little cheeky. Of course, I'm out of focus now. There we go. The bottoms are a little cheeky in the back. Um, and it has adjustable straps, but I think this is the cutest bathing suit ever. I haven't worn it yet though because it hasn't been. I usually wear like one pieces when it's like overcast outside and it hasn't been too bad here. But super, super cute. So all the rest of the suits that I got from H&M are all bikinis. So this one's probably my favorite. It's kind of hard to hold up because it crisscrosses. Um, but it's got this like chevron pattern almost and it crisscrosses in the back. It's just like a normal triangle bikini. And then the bottoms look like this. They have the same pattern. They're a little bit cheeky in the back, but it's super cute. Uh, this one, same pattern in this really pretty baby blue color, but this one's a banjo. It ties in the back and it actually, it comes with um, straps so you can like tie it like a halter top, but I just wear it as a banjo. And then these are the bottoms, they're a lot more full coverage, and they have like this little split in the front, and it's kind of like a V-cut in the front. This one's really nice too. So the next one that I have is this really, really, really pretty lilac color, and it's like almost satiny the material. It's really cute. Um, it has like four straps in the back, they're all adjustable, and it's more like a scoop neck, like almost like a sports bra type of top. And the bottoms are really similar to the blue ones. They're more full coverage. And they also have that little split right here too. This 
one is very similar to that first red one that I showed you, um, but it has this really stretchy like band at the bottom with the stripes, crosses in the back again like a regular triangle one, and I have it in this coral color, Oops. and I also have the black. Um, I didn't get the bottoms to the black one though because I didn't have them in my size, so I'm just pairing this with like regular black bottoms that I have already. Um, but this is what the bottoms look like to it. It has the same um, band at the top, and it's a lot more cheeky in the back. Um, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of these bottoms because the way that this band sits like around your hips, it kind of like fluffs out. Like I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it doesn't sit flush with your skin, it kind of like pops out if you move in a weird direction. So you gotta be careful for that if you get these. Um, maybe it's just the way they fit me, I don't know. But otherwise, I think it's really cute and I love this little stripey detail. I honestly found the top first and was gonna get it just to wear like under like overalls and stuff because I thought it was really cute and it has like a sports bra. But obviously it's meant to be a bikini, so. Alright, so the last bikini that I got from H&M is this one, and I feel like this has been like all over the internet because I feel like everyone I know has this bikini, but I thought it was super cute. It's light blue and white stripes. Um, this top is actually way too big for me. It's like a size 10 when I'm a 4, so it's a little big and I have to, I'm going to have to like get it tailored to fit me. Like the straps are a little too long, but it was the only one in the store and I wanted to buy it, so. And the bottoms look like this. Same with the stripes, um, it's a little more full, full coverage in the back, it's not as cheeky. My sister is being really obnoxious, if you heard her burp, I apologize. <laughs> Alright, so last we have Zaffle, and this year I placed an order of like, I want to say like 16 or 18 bathing suits, and I didn't end up keeping that many because a lot of the ones that I got didn't end up fitting me. Like they were just falling off of me and they didn't even fit my sister. So um, here's pictures of the ones that are not going to be pictured in this video because they just didn't, it just didn't work out. As for the ones that did work out, this first one is very similar to that blue stripe one from H&M. It's the same like sports bra type shape but it's red. So the bottoms look like this. They're more like higher up on the waist, um, which is probably, I think it's my favorite type of bottoms. I like when they come up higher on your hips, um, and they are definitely more cheeky in the back. I feel like most of Zappos bikini bottoms are really cheeky, if not like long bottoms. Um, so these are pretty cheeky. All right, so this is the next one that I got, and this one actually is honestly too small for me, but I squeezed myself into it for an Instagram picture. And it's like, how do I explain this? It like, it has, yeah, it has the underwire, which is like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't move. Like, you can't bend it. And it comes up, like, in the front, like that. I'm sure you've seen bathing suits like this all over Instagram, too. And it's like, only half of the fabric over the boob, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the top. It has adjustable straps and it just clips into the back. Bottoms look like this. These aren't as high up on the hip, but they are definitely very, very tiny. These are actually like wicked small on me. Like, I can't wear them small, but yeah. So the next bathing suit from Zaffle, I think this one's so cute. It's this bandeau and it is ribbed patterned and in the back. It has this like little lace-up detail. It's kind of like dirty right now because of being in the ocean. I haven't washed it yet, so it's turning um, like a greenish color. Thank you, uh, Red Tide and the lovely ocean here today. But the bottoms look like this. Once again, these are like more high up on your hips and they're like thinner in the front and they are definitely cheeky in the back. These bottoms honestly are a little too big for me, so I have to get these fixed too. Just like take it in like half an inch and it would be perfect on the sides. Um, but I still wore it and thankfully they didn't fall off, so. Next, we have this one. I think this one is my favorite from Zaffle this year, and I am not usually a stripe person, but I thought this was super cute, and I think it also comes in red, too. So this one, it's like a scoop neck, almost like a sports bra. It has adjustable straps, clips in the back. So this is what the bottoms look like. Again, higher up on the hips, 
cheeky in the back through the stripes and they have like this little split where the stripes change direction. I think that is so cute and it looks really flattering on. So I think this one is like my favorite bathing suit this year. All right, next we have this purple one that's all tangled up right now. Um, I actually modified this one a little bit because I didn't 100% like the way it came. I'll throw up a picture right here of what it looks like. Um, it had this really long strap that connected from like the top and then like crisscrossed in the back and then went around and connected to the bottoms like in the front of your hips. And I mean, it looked decent on, but I just couldn't see like the practicality in having a giant string wrapped around your body and like tan lines. So I cut it off and I just tied all the strings up together at the top to make it like a halter. Um, but anyways, aside from that, this is like one of my favorite swimsuits this year. Um, it's this really pretty lilac purple. This one's also ribbed and it's just a regular triangle top now that I've cut it up. And the bottoms look like this. These are probably the smallest bottoms that I own. They're very cheeky and the side is actually adjustable. But this one on me, it sits a little higher up on my hip bones than the rest of them. I don't know if it's because the, like, the straps are so thin, but I really like this one. This one's probably one of my favorite um, sets aside from the striped one. Okay, so lastly, I have four bathing suits, all exactly the same, just in different colors, just because I like the style of it so much. So the one that I showed in the try-on was this uh, army green color. It's just a regular triangle top that has adjustable straps. Um, there's no clip in the back. It's just like a band that goes around your around the back of you. Um, it did come with padding, but I thought it looked kind of stupid, just like the way that the padding was shaped, so I took it out. Um, but this is what the top looks like. And then the bottoms look like this. They're like longer, so they come up, once again, a little bit higher on the hips, and it's a little bit longer in the back, so it sits higher up on your back. And again, cheeky, but really cute. So I got it in this green, red, white, and black. All right, you guys, so that is it for my bikini haul. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I'll link as many as the bikinis that I can find down in the description below in case you want to check them out, buy them for yourself. I'll also leave the sizing that I ordered for all of them in the description below with like my measurements so that you can compare it because I know I always look for that when I'm buying things online. So I'll leave that all in the description below for you guys. Um, but that is it for today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from this channel. Leave me a comment down below if you feel like it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye, Francesca. Bye. Oh my god! Red tide is killing us. I feel like I have like a slime in my throat. See y'all in my next video. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.